Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken, this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Turan. We are beating the game currently with uh, on two soldiers on the highest difficulty. It is time for an operation in West Africa, Operation Night Father, um, where we are fighting only against uh, machines. For those of you wondering, like, uh, how is the general um, process of uh, the campaign going? It is going great. We're on the final uh, laps. Um, I already mentioned uh, that we are just about to finish it. So here is my thought process. Uh, I wanted to train up uh, Roby just a bit more. Maybe one more uh, uh, mission with uh, plus dodge on uh, Hawkbite, just to get him to the 100% dodge rating that I was envisioning. Um, that means next month, depending on the rewards of the missions, we're probably going to see one or two more covert ops, uh, just to get to the sweet uh, point where I'm sure enough that we have uh, sufficient ability points, uh, sufficient uh, rewards from all of the missions, just to, uh, to do the last uh, mission. The reason why I'm so careful is, I really don't know how we're going to deal with uh, that many enemies. I do have a good feeling so far that um, Hawkbite and, um, and uh, Roby are a pretty, pretty solid tech team. And I'm also uh, sure that there is a good chance that we're actually going to um, uh, uh, survive the entire run um, with our current status. But it would, uh, I would feel really bad playing about 80 missions and then not having the patience to, to get to the right level um, where the last mission is possible. Fortunately, I, I've never uh, made it so far, uh, so I don't have a feeling whether or not we are completely over leveled or uh, if I should worry about the last mission. I think no one has, so I don't have any, I don't have any benchmark. All right, we're going to do exactly that. Moving out. We've got the objective in sight. Okay, so. Let's move a little bit closer, shall we? Yes, we shall. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Without bypassing too many of uh, the enemies, I still feel the codices on the right hand side are really not worth our time at the moment. Yeah, now they maybe are. So, I mean, we could go for Saturation Fire, but I don't think that that's the right play. Could go for a Plasma Grenade, but that would only make them split. So I think the right play here, although it is wasting a bit of an action, is to effectively start killing those guys here. That'll trigger death from above. Enemy 
There we go. Moving a bit closer with Renvan. Very nice, that's what we're looking for. Come on! Alright. Who wants some? Who wants some? Lovely. Good, that way he also has uh, untouchable and replaceable. We're not going uh, any further. So that's five down um, and probably eight more to go. Would that trigger a death from above as well? No, it wouldn't. We're just getting some extra rounds here. I guess that'll be okay. We're near the objective. We've got advent here. Okay, we know that the sector pod is somewhat back there. Okay, it's going to be interesting. Okay, so before we do that, let's start with Renwin here, shall we? Okay. Um, run and gun. Moving over here. Okay, I'll go. Let's get that mech. Okay, unfortunately we didn't fully kill it. That is suboptimal. Let's try again. We can't run there and kill it. That's that would trigger more of them. But this here is triggering untouchable and implacable. 
this year. It's hopefully going to deal with the Spectre and the Codex. Unfortunately, it doesn't. Which means we are pulling just a little bit back. Uh, we don't have any time problems and I don't want to pull uh, the Sector Port yet. There's the Psionic Bomb. All right, let's reload. Frostbite is a free action. That way we will not need to deal with him right away. We're going to kill the Codex first. Nice little death from above. We're going to chain shot and eliminate this guy. Not even close. I am with you. Second advanced teamwork. We're eliminating the mech. Getting another death from above. It's good, which will help us to start taking out the Spectre. This here is out of line of the uh, out of range of the psionic bomb. And thanks to the Frozen, nothing has happened. We haven't even taken damage. Got some advent here. Oh, that is a massive pack. Things are getting worse. So this here could be a starter. Can we hit all three? Magically, they have positioned themselves in a way that it is not possible to hit all three of them. We could, but we're just barely out of range. That's uh, that's something which uh, truly only the AI could do. Okay, so... Let's think it through. We could uh, score a kill here. Continue to move over. If we were to drop a grenade, that's a start. Good one. Uh, with a grenade and a shot, the sector port is kind of half 
halfway down. We could score kill over here. Probably even move over and kill this guy. Could we get onto high ground where we could see multiples of them? This here is a good high ground position. Just checking, once we killed the Spectre, what would we do? If we were to take high ground here, that'll allow us to probably kill this guy as well. We don't have run and gun, so it needs to be timed quite well. We could arguably... Kill the sector port. Oh, wait a second. If we explode that area here, and the roof will be gone, and we would have f almost full line of sight. So yeah, that uh, it could actually work out. Let's give it a try. First things first. We're starting with a grenade. All right, Reaper. Yes. Reload. Yes. Sword attack. There we go. Untouchable and placeable. This is just to move closer. Wait a second, out of curiosity, we are looking at 15 to 17. That'll be a kill here. It wouldn't be a kill there. Okay, if we were to move to here. With a rage strike. Yeah, could move to here and then like up this roof, kill him and shoot uh, the sector port. That's one strategy. Unfortunately, the rooftop didn't uh, explode. Um, that's a bit less than I would have expected. Um, as well as we could have attacked him, moved up here and could have gone for the sector pot. So these are the two lines of play uh, that I could imagine. Another option is quite frankly to put ourselves just literally in the middle here. Uh, but we will probably take some rocket fire. We'll probably take some rocket fire now. I think the divide and conquer strategy isn't too bad. Wait a second, this here could maybe just deal two points of damage, so that wouldn't be enough. Hmm. Hmm. Same for the sector port, maybe the sector port wouldn't even die. How much would we deal to the sector port? So we're looking at 15 to 17. That's 30 points of damage. 
not enough to actually kill it. But I do have an idea, I mean, it would give us... Uh, uh, my idea is uh, my idea was softening this guy up, uh, moving up to this rooftop, taking a shot a shot down um, uh, onto the sector port, then killing the sector port here, just leaving the guys where they are. So that's an option as well. Or essentially moving to here, being out of line of sight for most of them. Like here we would uh, see the sector point. I think that's not the worst idea. It might look stupid on paper, because why would you like put yourself into an open position? But we will get at least one blade storm attack uh, out of uh, this exercise, maybe even more, and we can still continue uh, rampaging on them next turn. Mm. Let me think it f completely through. The other option is to go here with a rage strike, kill him with a sword afterwards. basically softening up the sector port then killing the sector port which only leaves two of them alive and we have one untouchable nah. it's one too uh, one too much uh, one too many alive uh, that's the problem behind it as why well the idea is good Okay, I think I, I'm comfortable with this solution here. Which is essentially the less aggressive version. It's the, I kind of acknowledge uh, we have a problem version. Good. We're deliberately moving out of range. Could stand here, but that's probably going to be bombarded. They're going to use their rockets anyway, so might as well position ourselves wisely. Certainly not on the rooftop. I was thinking going back, because then they wouldn't know where we are. But you never know with the AI. So let's position ourselves in here. Oh, 
All right, let's go, baby. That's at least two uh, blade storm attacks. That's one. Good job. That's two. Which is straight up a kill. Good job. Check it before you get too close. And that is number three, which is almost a kill. Untouchable, but uh, unfortunately the explosion didn't count as untouchable. Oh shit, it's going to be more difficult than expected. Alright. Well, sucks being you, buddy, because I need to uh, get on top of the roof. Let's hope they're not using grenades because that a grenade would deal four points of falling damage. It's dead. It has to be dead. Ready to go. So this is at least dealing with the uh, psionic um, priest. He's gone. I got it, right? Yeah, and we're going to go in aggressive. Oh no. We're, we're so close, but not quite there yet. Okay, we do have untouchable, which means as long as we're not standing on the rooftop, we should be fine. Untouchable, baby. That was close. Problem with stasis is it's going to set us up for failure. And we're almost out of uh, time here, so that's way uh, way more difficult than expected. Grappling somehow doesn't work. I don't really know why. I was really, really, really expecting that grappling would work. Now I'm looking stupid because uh, I'm kind of mid in in the middle of the open. I have no idea why you wouldn't be able to grab up here. But yeah, the only <clears throat> the only thing that we really could do is start going for the mech and offering ourselves to be a better target 
than Renman is, because else Renman is going to die. This is a really fucked up turn of events. <sighs> Close. Mind control? Yeah. That's, that was a little bit lucky. Gotta stop the mind control. Check it before you get too close. I we need one more turn. And by the way, surprisingly enough, this time the grappling hook works. So I'm not quite sure what was different last turn. Kill confirmed. We're not picking up any other contacts. Get those charges deployed. I think we're still losing the mission. I was under the impression last time that I was standing here that I could just destroy this thing. Apparently I was wrong, very wrong. <laughs> I just messed up the mission, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, do we have a grenade? No, we don't. Um, can we somehow hit this? No, we don't have any opportunity. Let me tell you, that's really bad. It's too late. They've disconnected the transmitter from their network. We missed our opportunity. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> yeah, that was poor. Well, big blunder at the very end. XCOM's campaign of chaos and confusion. In all fairness, though, um, picking, uh, or taking up a sector port and three heavy mechs is difficult because they have too much um, hit points to essentially um, burst them down, and their rockets just hurt. Probably should have used an EMP grenade. Well, that would have been by far the best solution there. Hello, Commander. All right, we have returned fire. Oh, we didn't even lose uh, West Africa. Well, that was a shit show. Okay. Avenger plotting new course. And what is this here, by the way? Ah, oh, yeah, that's the last facility. Okay, we can easily clear that. Good. Mobility and loot. Uh, a promotion that we don't need. Uh, nine dodge for eight days is really good. And a faction soldier. Matter of fact, the second uh, reaper. That would be probably a really good uh, mission. Um, another faction soldier? Is that even possible? 
Normally you can only have two faction soldiers from one faction, right? Hmm, strange. The effect of all weapon modifications is increased, so that is not bad. Uh, that is not that's actually not bad at all. It's a really strong order. Probably I'm thinking whether or not we're going to do that because this here essentially gives us more plus hit and a couple of other things. Gain ability points are good together with dodge. It's really good. Okay, so mobility plus one. I think Hogbite could use that. Together with Roby. No one is going to be wounded. Eight days, that's good. Afterwards we can get uh, the nine dodge. We will walk hand in hand with our new allies. And here is Colonel Harbringer. Nice, we finally got another uh, class to uh, Colonel. This time it is the Skirmisher. Let's, uh, we're going to promote him in a second. Um, before we do so, let's take a look at his uh, weapon, superior um, scope, yes. I think we're going to go with the superior expanded magazine, which for his weapon uh, for the skirmisher is always a good um, option. Personal combat sim. I mean, we could go with um, extra aim. I think that wouldn't be too bad. Might as well uh, go for it. Let's promote him and see. So, I like the uh, grappling hook uh, portion. He has a lot of AP. I think we're going to use two of his action points. Oh, he can't get death from above. Okay. But lightning reflexes is probably still something we uh, want to look into. Tactical rigging is good because it gives him an extra slot. So this is definitely something that we would want to take. Um, the grenade portion is okay. It's actually really, it's actually good, but um, it's not as good as with uh, as uh, Salvo would be. Uh, subsequent shots uh, provide a higher hit chance and crit, so I like that. I like Wrath as well. Pull someone else to you with uh, your uh, with your grappling hook. The whiplash is good. Costs no action. Kind of a no-brainer to take that. This here is his best ability, combat presence by far. So, absolutely no question. This here is the Bladestorm uh, equivalent. Easily one of the better uh, uh, um, uh, abilities. I don't necessarily think that that uh, is something to definitely write home about. Uh, it's more than enough to pull uh, the enemies. It's okay. It's not a really good ability. Um, that here is okay. Waylay uh, can be good, but I'm usually not going uh, playing an Overwatch uh, game. Um, Well, that is not bad either. That is not bad either. So both of them are good. Um, let's before we continue uh, uh, um, upgrading him, let's give him a loadout first. I think a mind shield is a sensible option in his case, and he needs ammunition. 
two screen rounds kind of is the deal which means he doesn't need uh, the uh, free uh, grenade throw however on a respec um, I think the return fire isn't too bad so give it um, is is not so good so giving him lightning reflexes instead or in for the volatile mix giving him lightning reflexes instead is good um, well worth 15 points saturation fire with 25 is pricey question is um, there will be options where this is actually really good so I could see this mm, I could see that so let's give him saturation fire Chiefs us with 40 points zero in something that I appreciate and one further option I, I mean we can either take like two um, two options here return fire isn't really the worst uh, to be uh, to be uh, precise specifically if he would go in with let's say um, a specialist who could heal him and he's then uh, really in the position to tank um, he could yeah he could return a couple of shots so that's actually not the worst the question is if we were ta uh, taking it what would we take as well gain plus two mobility uh, with every kill mm. it's okay but since we can't uh, really uh, since we don't really have resets like for death from above it's it's not that great uh, the interrupt uh, ability is okay but like I said I wouldn't uh, bank on overwatch um, consequently the battle lord uh, uh, piece is yeah okay as well I think judgment has its uh, has its uh, has its use um, specifically when we're being attacked upon like if they panic and start hitting one another that's actually not a bad uh, not a bad skill I think we're going for it after each enemy in uh, line of sight takes a turn take an immediate action hmm. Hmm. Battle Lord can allow the skirmisher uh, can only be used once per mission. Uh, turns from the lost and the enemy ports revealed. Uh, um, does not grant an immediate action. Yeah, it's one of the things that uh, when we're really in a bad situation with a lot of enemies, it could be okay because we get uh, we can we can act a couple of times. So that's not bad. That's not bad either. Let's go with Battle Lord. Uh, I'm I'm underwhelmed by the uh, Colonel abilities of him, but we got all of the important abilities, and that's what counts. Okay, let's heal faster to get Renman back. I'm still shocked that we lost this mission. I was so sure that we were going to win. Commander, we've located one of their facilities. You know what? For the Western US precinct. Let's do the facility real quick. Just because I'm annoyed about the facilities. But we're going to do this in the... Uh, I know what we're doing it in this mission because facilities are super easy and it shouldn't be a problem. After I already messed up 
the last mission. Feels like I owe you at least a win here. So let's go. That's two missions for the price of one. Yeah, I'd be interested after the uh, campaign to see how many missions uh, we actually lost. It feels like uh, we lost quite a few, uh, many of uh, the uh, retaliation missions, also quite a few of the co covert ops missions. So <laughs> it's probably uh, going to look bad at the end of, uh, of this run. As for this mission here, I'm intending to simply go in and plant the C4. We have a positive confirmation on the position of a facility conducting research crucial to the Avatar project in this region. The coordinates are locked in for a tactical strike. Move to the designated position and plant the X4 charges. Once they're armed, move to minimum safe distance and we'll turn that place into rubble. All right. Let's do exactly that, shall we? Menace one five. Got a nice little stun lancer on top. Move to designated position and place the X four charges. Watch my back. Good, so that's going to be a rather fast mission, I imagine. Will do. You can already see how Dragonover just puts down the C4 and we're getting out of here. Interesting. Moving on target location. Target is marked. <laughs> A deadly stowaway. All right, let's uh, take a look and see if we can eliminate uh, the gatekeeper. They found us. Hit the armor. Slowly but surely. We're setting everyone up to be killed.
Can you actually mind control him? No, you can't. Okay, good. All right, reloading and let's start to take out the gatekeeper here. Just wondering what happened to me saying I'm simply running in and placing the C4. Let's kill the sucker. Not exactly as I planned it. Okay, so I think we're going to advance teamwork. percent chance to kill the sectoid which we should take they are cowards <laughs> he's running back okay All right, there we go, homing mine. Good to go. Kill zone. Yes, please. Uh, we're advanced team working, which will be enough to take a shot. And there we go. It's one hit. Did he just terminate all of them? Lovely. The weapon is really strong, ridiculously strong, so much so that I need to snicker.
All right, moving over here. Reloading, and let's take a shot. Ability point farming works quite well with her because whenever she kills something, it's uh, obviously an ambush kill, giving an ability point. I will go. Menace one five, you're near the target position. Cover me, I'm reloading. I originally just wanted to sneak uh, this entire mission, but it, the, the terrain here f almost forced us into uh, running it normally. I'm at your service. But there had been a couple of situations where we actually killed them so fast that I needed to laugh about it, so it was the right decision to do the mission in the normal way. Okay, so there is one more pack. Oh, look at that. Interesting. How do we want to approach that? Yeah, I almost think the reload slash kill zone option is the best one here. We'll most likely make them move because they heard an explosion. Yep, or not. I go where I'm needed. I loaded these cartridges myself. Okay, so if we were calling the Sky Ranger to here, that'll mean we could. Oh no, I won't do the same mistake again. She currently can move there, but not after she is visible. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to prep this here a little bit. I strike at your heart. Their armor is decent. There is nowhere to hide. We are compromised. 
Oh, look at that. We are indeed compromised. This is going to suck. Interesting movement, by the way, as if they would have known that we're here. Okay. Remember, they are not victims. Your material is secure. I think that overall also has shown how well uh, the sniper can do. Plan the C4. And let's get out of here. Menace 1 5, status confirmed. X4 charges are armed. Move to the extraction point for immediate evac. Heading out. My fight is over. Yeah. A little bit closer than uh, the end uh, was a little bit closer than I would have expected. Could have played that differently. I could have simply um, started to um, unload right away and uh, do ba a banish that would have killed him. Um, with the explosion, both of his comrades would have been hit and would have fallen down. That's probably the it. It would have been the all-around better play. Instead, I wanted to kind of sneakily sting him and then wait and see. And you're not poking the bear. Either, either you're uh, immediately killing it or not. But don't just poke the bear and then wonder when it's uh, getting angry. Sure to be high after an operation like that. Great work, Commander. With the alien facility destroyed, their efforts to develop the Avatar project will likely suffer a substantial decline, at least for the time being. Excellent work, Commander. Yeah, that was uh, pretty good overall. Avenger plotting new course. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. Greetings, Commander. All right, we don't take another data pack. I would want to go. We can do another data pack, but we're not going to finish it. I want to do the remaining uh, shadow projects, namely the Avatar first. So it's going to take another nine days. And there's a supply rate. 13 enemies, undercover civilians present in the zone can uh, be contacted to gain valuable rewards. Okay, we're looking at elite officer, elite trooper, elite specter, a gatekeeper, heavy mech, three. Yeah, a lot of, um, a lot of advent. I think I want to uh, see our newcomer, the new skirmisher, and we're going to do that in the next mission. 
um, in the next episode, rather. I'm still thinking about whom we're tech teaming him uh, up with. But probably, uh, or most realistically speaking, Nessir could be a good uh, tech team. Both of them have uh, solid rounds. Yeah, that seems to be an all-round uh, good tech team. I want to see how they are dealing with a more difficult mission. Uh, that's going to happen next mission, though. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate your uh, support and feedback. Uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And uh, uh, tune in the next time when we are continuing this beautiful run. Thanks a lot and have a great evening. Bye-bye.